ආයිබවන් ක්‍රැවල් ඩයරි නරමල සියල දෙනාටම අද අපි ඔබට ගෙනාවේ චෙඩා වර්ච් වීඩියෝ මාලාවේ තුන්වන වීඩියෝවයි අපගේ චෙඩා මෑන් සහ කොක්ස් කේ වීඩියෝස් දෙක ඔබ තාවන් නරමා නැතිනම් ඩිස්ක්‍රිප්ෂන් කොටසේ ඇති ලින්ක් වලින් ඔබට ඒවා නරමන්නට හැකි මේ වීඩියෝවෙන් ඔබට අපි ගෙනාවේ ආදි මානවයා උපකරණ ආයුධ හ ගින්දර සාදාගත් ආකාරය ගැන සවිශේෂී තොරතුරු රාශියකුයි. තැන්දී ඉන්න ට්‍රැවල් ඩයරි අපිට සමග මේ ඉතා වැදගත් වීඩියෝ නිමා වෙන තැක්ම. අද වීඩියෝව නැරඹීමට පෙර අපි ඔබට ගෙන එන්නේ චෙඩාගොඩ් සහ කේප්ස් වත සංචාරය කරන්නට ඔබ බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා නම් දැනගත යුතු කාරණා කීපයක්. डे टिकट नाती नाम दिन कटवालांग प्रवेश पत्र मिलती गाननाम एक युक्त वेडिट प्रवेश पत्र राजधानी पाउंड विसाई पैंस अणु पहालवात्तर दर अंट एक राजधानी पाउंड पहाल वाई पैंस हेतवा ए वगे मब पाउल वाहन चारिका संधान ඒ නවතා තැබීමට රතගල සඳහා එක්සත් රාජධානි පවුම් පහක මුදලක් දී ටිකට් පතක් ප්‍රවේශ පත්‍ර කවුල් වෙන්න ඔබට ලබා ගත හැකි. මේ සියලු තොරතුරු www.chedagoch.co.uk වෙබ් අඩවියෙන් ඔබට දැක බලා ගන්නට පුළුවන්. ඒ වගේම ඔන්ලයින් බුකින් සේවය හරහා ඔබට ප්‍රවේශ පත්‍ර චාරිකාවට පෙර මිලදී ගන්නට හැකි. Gaps Care Museum of Prehistory Cox Care featuring Dream Hunters Jacob's Ladder Lookout Tower, Clifftop Walk Saha, Beyond the View, May Pravesha Patrain, Obatan Narambi Haki. Eva Gamer, Mima Guhatula, Mother Seeta La Pavatina Nisa, Obage and Dungana Salakili Matuitu. May Sielus Tanaveta, Obage Suratal Satun Dagana Haki. Kuda Darwan to them, May Sulukria Karakam Pavatinova. Then Mapiamu, a pivot over there. आदि मानव जीवात्वतिहावल मधुवल नतीनाथवाकारोड़ारंबलबावलिहोटवलिनुनोदेन्दे पुरा विद्यावकरण And uh, with as few tools as possible, so that has to do everything in the butchering process. Mostly because those tools are quite heavy, and you don't be running down a deer carrying four of those. So uh, over here, we've got a much smaller hand axe looking piece. That's a stone needle. That's called an awl for punching holes in that big thick leather over there to make the yurts. Then uh, oh, this big flat piece of stone just here. Oh, thank you. Is for uh, scraping. Is for cleaning hides. Now we can uh, talk a bit more about that later if anyone's interested. It's uh, features a lot of wee and brains. <laughs> Lovely. What else have we got? Oh, what have we got over here? Thank you. Here's the uh, aforementioned stone needle. We've got a uh, oh little hatchet just here. That's for taking withies off the willow tree when we want to do a bit of weaving. Ah, thank you, fellow. And finally, this chap is a gathering sickle. You hold it like that. And swing. Oh, it's getting sticky there. Top day. <laughs> and swing into whatever it is you want to uh, harvest. Smash in. You all done with that one? Lovely. Thank you. And uh, oh, whoever's got the hand axe when you're ready. Oh, fabulous. Thank you. So we're going to talk a little bit more about this kind of tool later. Composite tools, where you have more than one thing making up the tool. But first, let's talk about. Core tools. So these are tools that come from the very centre of a lump of flint. So uh, what? We've got what we made earlier, just here. Oh. If I can actually hold it. <laughs> There we go. So this is a uh, more or less 
full modular flint. And the objective now is to quarter it, Sorry, my to turn it into useful pieces. So first, we hit it right there on a natural curve where it's weakest, and we crack off this great big piece. This will be really useful later on, and I'll talk about that later. Whoop. So that then opens up another striking platform, or somewhere we can hit it and we know it's later it come off. Right there. So we get this nice, long, thin flake. Something we could use for uh, making an arrowhead, a spearhead, maybe even an adze for hollowing out canoes. Whoop. And of course, that opens up another one for a nice big hand axe. So, as you can see, a core tool wastes a lot of flint. We're going to be losing all of that surrounding stuff to make one of these. So the objective is to take off as many useful bits of flint to get into this as possible. So, thick leg pad, otherwise this is going to really hurt. <laughs> Next, ooh, where's a good piece? There we go, that'll do. We start with our hammer stones. These are great big round pieces of rock. We can do better. We can still do better. That's more like it. Yep. So, as you can see, the objective is to hit it on top and for a flake to come off the bottom like that. Then we turn it over, go again, and all the way around the tool we're after. But it's worth pointing out here that you can see the flake I've taken off is quite big and thick at this end. And it's uh, not exactly delicate over any of it. So this is only really any good for getting a rough axe. Now, vague serration around the edge and the vague shape of the tool we're after. So maybe that could be a hand axe. Yeah, so hmm, a number of other things. It could turn into an axe blade. Ooh, it could turn into the aforementioned ads. It could turn into a multitude of things, this. But we're gonna need to uh, delicately, delicately remove a lot of flint to get a working tool out of it. So, that's where the soft hammers come in. Alrighty. So this is a soft hammer, and this is a piece of moose antler, and that's the uh, closest we can get to the antler of the great Irish elk that lived here 10,000 years ago. And these have taken off long, thin flints. So let's see. There we go. Ah, so what we've removed there, you can see that is so much thinner than what we took off before. That's uh, also the second sharpest natural material in the world. We'll show you the sharpest in a bit. But uh, this could then be touched up into, uh, oh, maybe a very small arrowhead, maybe a very small chopping tool. Suffice to say, when it comes off in these great long thin pieces, and as you can see, we've removed quite a bit from this piece of flint, yet it's remained more or less the same. So that goes to show what a uh, nibbling away process it is, little bit by little bit by little bit, until finally you shape the tool you're after. Okay, so a little bit about composite tools. So tools made of more than one thing. So uh, first things first, we need to tie on, let's say a spear for the sake of argument, a spear tip to your shaft. So uh, what? We could use leather, we've used leather here, we've used leather on a couple of other tools, but it's quite weak. So what we want to use is ligaments. Any of you guys not know what a ligament is? Well, if you don't, you just touch your uh, thumb and your little finger together, and that thing just there, that's a ligament. Smash it. Now, 10% of people don't have that ligament, so if you don't, you found something interesting. Marvellous! We've had straight out the animal and dried out. Now, uh, next what we need to do... Oh, stay. <laughs> is take a big old rock and just beat the living daylights out of it. Just like that. And eventually, it'll take on this stringy consistency. And we need to peel that away, peel that away, and peel it away until ligament thread. Now, uh, to turn this into actual thread rather than just a lump of animal, what we need to do is take the big flat part of our thigh and the big flat part of our thumb. Then we uh, give that a nibble. And this gets all the natural glues out, softens it up, makes it much more workable. And it's a little meaty treat between lunch. <laughs> so we fold it in half, just like that. And with a big flat part of the thumb, we just roll that along there. There we go. So it's starting to form a little piece of thread. Now, do I have a voice? So for you guys, why don't you have a little bit of tug of war between you? 
There you go. Although well, be I'm gentle. Sure it. Don't want a hand burn. Oh. And for you guys. Oh, Ooh, I was about a little bit of time. Oh. <laughs> Marvellous. So this should demonstrate how ridiculously strong ligament is. And when you're done, pass it around and make sure everyone gets alive. So it'd be a bit rubbish if it was weak. <laughs> But as you can guess, as I put it in my mouth, so it got a little bit soft, got a little bit mangled, it's water. And for that, we use the poo glue, as we call it. It's sticky, so I wouldn't uh, touch the ends right now. But uh, there's one for you, we'll start this end. And there's one for you. Lovely, you pass around when you're done. You know, we uh, need to get our raw pine resin unpurified. So this has got little bits of wood in it, little bits of, uh, I think it might be half a bug, there's some moss. So it's not very good quality. So what we need to do is drill a little hole in the edge of our bowl, or if it's on a low heat, our shell, pop the unpurified stuff in until it goes liquid. Then pour it through that hole into another bowl, and uh, we get this lovely pure stuff. Lovely, it's basically a Stone Age sip. And with a little blob of beeswax, just to stop it getting brittle, it's uh, all done did. So then we dip the stick into a... <laughs> oh dear, I promise I'm confident. <laughs> twirl it, blow on it, twirl it, blow on it, until it's uh, a nice big lump on the end like this. Then we run that through the fire, wipe it on whatever we fancy, et voila, glue stick. This can also be used as a fire lighter. It can be slapped straight on the wound when you've cut yourself. It can be uh, with a slight alteration to the to the recipe, a bit more birch bark. Can be used as chewing gum, we know Ancient Man did that. Or uh, a multitude of other tasks. Really useful stuff, this. Gindra kyanne, edat adat heta, ape edin da jivita heta, atte avashya deya. Gindra palane, molimma soyagan labwe, homo erectus, ape adimutun mit tanvanatara, e galyuke, pratama bagedi. Isn't the ham mul masakshi hamuviti benne? Kenya ve lake to kana pradeshe old oven adimana parekshana boominui. Milan kutisin no bada dagagata haki benne? Adimana veage di not samaga gindaran padu akare. So, first things first, we need the half board. This is the uh, bit where all the magic's gonna happen. Well, hopefully this one's looking a little bit dodgy at this point, so we'll see how it goes. I can quickly whip up another one if needs be. Okay. Now we wind the spindle in, just like that. Pop them in place, take that uh, limpet shell, and right on top he goes. So my spindle's getting a little bit shed nicely. Oops. Oh. You know, I think we might. So you see we get a lot of smoke here. 
but we won't get an ember until we get a bit deeper. Chedagochi, the one video of what metanini maveno. Namu, Chedagoch, Piliband, the Tavas, Sushi, Toraduro, it read up your better again. Up again, me like a video in Kenene, Tintacle Malika, Piliband, the Sita, the Gana, Solutoraduru, Rashikwe. Other Rajgue Malika, what is a ha? Merlin Nam at the Daksha Maya, Karuge, Guhava to Gia Charika, or some again, me like a video in Hamwim. Pali nati like sala kuna click kara subscribe kara na tamta kara ne pa. Eva game bell like ne click kalo. Apa ge alut ma videos abat itmanin narbe haki. Travel dal narbo abasamata subadawasak.